untying her own history. Lisa Donahue says letter writing leaves a precious record of the correspondence between her family and friends. It just makes me remember how much I like love those people. Lisa has been writing to loved ones for years, but the practice took on new meaning when she began learning more about St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. She wrote letters all the time. Seton was the first American to be canonized a saint. She founded the Sisters of Charity in 1809. They began their missionary work here in Emmitsburg, Maryland, where Lisa works at the National Shrine of St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, educating visitors about the life of Mother Seton, who in turn has taught her. She lived every day. She had the anxieties and the fears and the grief and all of those things, and she survived it. That speaks to Lisa, who has overcome a lot in her own life. She didn't grow up in a religious household. There was family tension, and Lisa describes her childhood as toxic. I was very shy, and um, I didn't have, I didn't have that place of peace. But in high school, friends invited Lisa to mass. She began to feel at home in the Catholic Church, and she eventually converted. I started down that road to become Catholic, and that's when I met my husband, who comes from this great Catholic family, and I was just able to like fit right into that. It was Lisa's mother-in-law who provided a piece of advice that has stuck with her for years. Don't make your faith just on Sundays. Live it every day. She's carried that into her own family life. So for my kids, I've just tried to always teach them to be good people. So we started very young with them helping at the church and helping other people and always trying to put other people first. Everybody up, 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 up. At the National Shrine, Lisa teaches girls about St. Elizabeth Ann Seton and life in the early 19th century as part of a living history program. She's really easy to talk to. She's taught us everything we know. And Lisa keeps learning lessons in faith from the saint she looks up to as her own children become adults. That's another way I think I relate to Mother Seton. You know, she worried about her son William going in the Navy and not keeping the faith. But you just kind of sometimes have to trust God, and I'm trying really hard to do that. Living Catholic for Lisa means communicating care for others every day, spreading the faith, and believing when life is difficult, God has a purpose. Sometimes we have to go through the tough things to learn a lesson, because we just won't learn it otherwise. Lessons from the past can provide comfort, and Lisa says she finds a source of peace here on the cemetery grounds at the Elizabeth Ann Seton National Shrine, learning about the lives of those who lived the faith before her. They have the same issues that we have today. They're dealing with life and death. They're dealing with money issues and um, problems with family members and children or spouses or whatever. And they're, they're making it through. Mark Irons, EWTN News In Depth.